looking pretty nice outside. It is wonderful out there. Oh my goodness, my kind of weather. Temps in the upper 70s, low 80s, a lot of sunshine, but you see in the distance there uh, quite a bit of cloud cover. That's the thunderstorm cycle already underway. We're going to look at where those are here on uh, the radar in just a moment. Start first though, temps 76 over at the airport, 78 downtown. DIA, the wind is calm, at least as a flash check here downtown. We're about five, six miles per hour, so very light. Ron Sherwood, our weather watcher in southwestern Lakewood, 82 degrees at his place. Uh, now in the high country, we do have quite a bit of cloud cover, especially south central Colorado. So Leadville, it's chilly up there. Socked in at times, 58 degrees, some rain trying to develop in the area. 77 over on the western slope in Rangeley, Burlington already to 84. Look at Julesburg. You're on your way into the 90s today, 89 degrees. Fort Collins, at least at the airport there, just south of the city, 82. All right, so here's the current radar and we're starting Starting to see our thunderstorm cycle underway uh, as we move to the southwest of Denver. If you have a western view, you can see some of those towering clouds in Park County. We have some thunderstorms developing, so 285 toward Kenosha Pass. You'll run into some thunder shower activity outside of Evergreen. We have a thunder shower developing and just south of Castle Rock. And then as you move down into the San Juans, just kind of a scattering here. Uh, a few pockets though, one east of Creed, one here on the state line, and one over outside of Durango, where we have some thunder under shower activity evident by the lightning strike data. Here we go with the future cast. If you kind of notice where the storms are, where I just showed you on radar, that's essentially where everything will stay today. The periphery of the state, the eastern border, our northern border and the western border mainly staying dry. This is largely going to be concentrated in the mountains along and south of Interstate 70. Now, anytime you have slow moving thunderstorms, you obviously have a threat for flash flooding, so we need to pay very close attention to our burn scars as we move into the afternoon. We should hit those mid 80s today in the city. A normal high for Denver's 87, so not too far. Mostly sunny, just a handful of afternoon clouds out here in the northeastern plains. You saw the 80s out there already. We're going to get a couple of 90s places such as Julesburg, Leadville. You may try and get to the 60s. So you can get a few peaks of sun through the cloud cover you have right now. Western slope warming up too. 90s on the way for you. For tomorrow in Denver, we're going for 87. Wednesday, 88. And I'm going to kind of highlight the high temperatures for Wednesday. This at this point appears like it will be the warmest day of the week. A lot of 90s showing up here, both on the eastern plains and western slope. Thursday, Friday, Denver's temps come down a smidge. Storm chances go up. Those two days could be wet around here. And then, Dom, of course, the weekend. Can you believe this will be the very mm. last weekend of August? Denver going back up close to 90 and you know if the Broncos are coming back for a, a game here at home. It's going to be a hot one out there at the stadium. Is it going to rain on them you think at all? Maybe a small chance? Tiny chance. Let's hope not, but it's a 10%. All right. It'd be good football weather. That's right. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Chris. Sure. All right. Well, the